You fibber. Yeah, I bet you love Keith Urban. Uh, but yeah, but he's like, you know, Watch he hasn't out. lived in Australia for a very long time. But he's country in your country. There you go. There Caleb, you go. the country boy. That's me. In Australia, you know, we have this song. We go, he's a cunt, 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 country boy. There we go. I love it already. <laughs> I love Australia. The man with my favourite accent in the show. <laughs> the big brother, not quite hillbilly, but country boy, Caleb. Go. That's me. <laughs> I just loved every time. It didn't matter. You could have just read a shopping list every time you opened your mouth. <laughs> hey, I would read your shopping list any day. <laughs> You, what do you want? Some cucumbers? What do you want? Some tomatoes? No, it's like you, you want say, some tater tots? What do you want? Golly! Golly! And gosh go. darn it! Yeah, go on, what are you talking about? I love it. You were just golden and I just wish that you went all the way to the end. Uh, you know, I do too, but uh, I do believe that I made it as far as I could on my own. Uh, you know, after half my alliance was gone, uh, I played as hard as I could. I gave everything that I gave, which was 110%. I have nothing left to give. I mean, that was it. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that I created the biggest alliance in Big Brother history of eight yeah. people. And two of them were the final one and two. So with that being said, I think I accomplished exactly what I, uh, what I wanted to accomplish. And that was someone that was deserving of that money win. And didn't you come up with the name The Bomb Squad, didn't you? I did. Uh, yeah, you were the one that said, uh, you, you came in with the sole, well, not sole mission, but you wanted to create I wanted to alliance. create an alliance that had a cool name that would make it as far as we could get, and I believe I could put a check mark by that. I think it really was one of the most powerful alliances in Big Brother history. We, uh, you know, after we looked up all the stats, uh, out of 15 regular HOHs, only one time was none of my alliance in the mm -hmm. HOH room. Uh, so that's literally 14 HOHs all season. We controlled everyone who went home. Uh, and, and the time that we weren't HOH, we controlled who still went home. Uh, so the alliance was very powerful and it definitely worked to our advantage. And uh, being Final Four uh, and, and being a beast in the game that I was, I'm very happy to have made it as far as I did. And I think that without a doubt, we would hope to see you as an all-star player. You know what? I'm down. I'm ready to play again. Uh, I've been asked before, you coming back, you coming back. I would love to come back. Uh, you know, Survivor, mm -hmm. I got a, uh, you know. The oh, you'd be great on Survivor. I would love uh, to do Survivor, and I've already said it numerous times. That's that's what I'm ready for. I'm ready for. Uh, would you play a little uh, bit more dirty in Survivor? It would have to be a little dirtier because I don't get to eat as much. Uh, uh, there's a lot of be hungry. Yeah, I would be a hungry, but, you know, my military lifestyle, I, mm -hmm. I believe, uh, will definitely uh, have a part of that uh, in Survivor. Well, the boys complained, particularly towards the end, that um, you spoke out a little bit too much. You you maybe revealed, because, you know, you were very upfront with, with Frankie. And your honesty and your integrity and your loyalty, I have to say, is very honorable. Uh, but playing the game, the yeah. boys felt that got in the way. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I honestly completely agree with that. Uh, you know, uh, honor, uh, integrity, loyalty, uh, respect, dignity, all those words, uh, they take you so far. But once you're at a certain place is when you have to learn that those words may only be a word to, it may be a word to everyone else, but it means a lot more uh, in my actions, and I believe that I showed that. But I could have lowered uh, all of those uh, to everyone in the house. I think I was too loyal. And uh, being that loyal, uh, in a way, it got me to where I got. But when I was at that area, as in four or five or six, I should have stepped back and looked from the outside looking in and uh, realized that I was really putting my loyalty into people that wasn't giving me the same. We've got some uh, fan questions that I'm going to ask you very, very quickly. Um, I'm going to try and find the most important ones because we're being okay. hurried up. Um, uh, okay, this is a good one that came out on Twitter. When you decided to sit out at the Battle of the Block when you didn't play with Frankie and Frankie won mm -hmm. on his own, uh, you ended up taking the NF NFL prize. Uh, somebody wanted to know why you went with that and instead of sending someone else when you didn't take part in the win? Well, that's part of Big Brother. Uh, I actually had thought numerous times I don't think I should go um, due to what I'd done. But literally everyone that wasn't playing and even the people that was playing next to us wanted the same thing. They told me to sit down. Um, now, Big Brother made me. It's not like I was like, oh, I've got to go, shucks. Um, it was more so 
uh, they said, you're all going, you three are going, and that's part of it. You can't just yeah. not go. Uh, well, that's good you know, to know. You were, you were on the block with Frankie. He wins, so you both win, so you're both going, and the HOH is going to, you know, that one is going. So yeah. uh, with that being said, you know, uh, I still gave Frankie the respect that he deserved because he did you win. Did. I, I went up, I gave him a hug. He told me he was sorry for what he'd done. And, uh, you know, Frankie and I came to an agreement on that football thing. We talked it all over, and uh, it was squashed at that point. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if it was up to me, he wanted me to go, and Big Brother was basically making me go because it's, it's not a choice. It's yeah. like you can't decline a power of veto. No. You just have to accept it. And, uh, you know, Brittany, she actually tried to decline it, and they said, no, you can't. Okay. So uh, with that being said, you know, I, it's, I couldn't not go because it was part of the yeah. game, and that's how it went. Now, I have to ask you about Frankie's speech towards the end where he said he was <laughs> – that you guys had made him the most powerful player yeah. uh, and that, you know, he had all his millions of fans and Ariana's fans. What were your thoughts on that? Um, obviously, I think my thoughts were shown, uh, especially when I talked to Julie. I thought it was all absurd. I thought it was a little too much. Um, you know, you go in a Big Brother player, you need to leave a Big Brother player. I don't think that uh, you need to uh, go out in any different way than you came in. Of course, maybe emotions and maybe some other things. Um, but I don't think, you know, like, just like when he revealed it, I'm Ariana's brother. Okay, cool. She's not playing the game. You are. Well, I thought it was interesting when the fan favorites were, were voted and he was not in the three and he kind of you know, looked a little embarrassed. Yeah, uh, that's that's definitely true. But in a way, you know, I'm not going to lie. I thought I would at least be one of the three uh, also. But yeah. the people that were, hey, uh, you know, a couple, uh, one or two, I was like, eh. Well, actually, Nicole would be the only one. And I was like, really? <laughs> but, uh, you know, Zach and uh, Donnie were big characters. They were yeah. big characters in the game. They'd done a good job. They played the game well. And, uh, you know, uh, the guy who deserved it the most, obviously, is Donnie. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe because of uh, his uh, underdog in the game, everyone was going after him. And, uh, you know, him staying alive in the game as long as he did, I'm sure, surprised and uh, yeah. brought a lot of people up on that. So uh, kudos to Donnie for that. I have no doubts that we will see you on Survivor. I kind of got a gut feeling about that. Good luck. I will will see you on Survivor or an All Star. <laughs> this is not the last of this country no, boy it in ain't Hollywood. The last of me, baby. <laughs> Beast Mode Cowboys coming back triple threat. Yeehaw! <laughs> Thank you Yeehaw so much. from Australia. Giddy up. That's what we say in Australia. Giddy up. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank You're you. awesome. Oh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. You're so going on Survivor. <laughs>